US government wants Intel inside of them. A lot of gamers want AMD inside of them, and I want this inside of my PC. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast this Monday, August 18th, 2025. And we're gonna start off today with reports that are coming out that the US government is investigating whether or not they should take a stake into Intel, especially after all of the difficulties that we have highlighted here on Hot News, but also with some of the terse and tense words that have been exchanged from the US government towards Intel and with Intel trying to make amends and discuss all of that with the current US government administration. So this is something that is allegedly just being weighed at the current moment. This is happening after the CEO of Intel was called to resign by the President of the United States, but it appears that that has kind of changed and shifted a little bit, but especially with how important the Intel fabrication facility would be to things like the US's ability to have and own their own ability to make, develop, and produce chips. It seems like it falls in line with the concerns to make sure that that is retained and that it's not just TSMC and Samsung who are the big players or even Global Foundry who are the ones who are making uh, various different products out there but with TSMC and Samsung really being on the bleeding edge and not having Intel do that would likely not align with the desires of what the US is trying to achieve. So that is currently playing out. Intel responded to this saying that they're deeply committed to supporting President Trump's efforts to strengthen US technology and manufacturing leadership and they look forward to continue their work with the Trump administration to advance the shared priorities, but they're not going to comment on rumors or speculation, which is about par for the course, except for when you ask them, hey, how are the yields going on 18 or 14A? And they're like, we don't talk about that, but they're better than the rumors say, we promise. So it'll probably be a few sleeps before we can actually know how this is gonna shake out. It's gonna be a probably long drawn out process to understand what Intel's play is in the current landscape of things, especially as they are not necessarily keeping up with their competitors. But with those sleeps, you can get better ones of those with today's video sponsor. Let me ask you something. How did you sleep last night? Me? I slept great last night, and so could you if you would have slept on a mattress from today's sponsor, Helix Sleep. Helix is pretty much the best place to get the best mattress. You don't have to go to a weird store. You don't have to talk to a salesperson. You just browse Helix's online catalog of over 20 unique mattresses and new mattress toppers at your own pace. Once you find your dream mattress, it's shipped to your front door and for free if you're in the US. I've been sleeping on my Helix for a really long long time now, and it's still as comfy as that first night. Personally, I'm a side sleeper where my wife is a stomach sleeper, and after taking the Helix Sleep Quiz, which, by the way, should definitely take just a few minutes and a few questions, and all the hard work is done with Helix providing you a mattress to fit all your needs. Anyway, back to my quiz, we got paired up with the Dusk Lux mattress, and I have to say, this quiz really knows how to pair you with the mattress. If you have a variety of common sleep issues like snoring, back pain, trouble staying cool, etc., the Helix Sleep Quiz takes takes all of this into account to address the root of your sleeping problems. It doesn't hurt that the mattress is also just super comfy. Now, for some wacky reason, you don't think this is the best mattress you've ever slept on, Helix offers a whopping 100 night sleep trial so you can take the time to make your decision. Also, Helix isn't just for us grownups. They've got mattresses for the little ones as well. Actually, my kids are already on Helix mattresses, but since Helix was kind enough to send us another one, we have a super comfy timeout zone in the office for when Kyler's bad. Now for my actual kids, they've been on Helix for a while. They sleep better and I sleep better knowing they're on a mattress that is naturally hypoallergenic and crafted with certified materials. None of that fiberglass junk here. With it being back to school season, it's the perfect time to upgrade your kids' room so that they get great nights of sleep for their studies. And actually, whether you're a kid or an adult, it's the perfect time to buy any Helix mattress because with their exclusive Labor Day sale, you'll be getting 27% off site wide. Go to helixsleep.com forward slash UFD tech or click the link in the description below to save big on the best upgrade you can make. Huge thanks to Helix Sleep for sponsoring. Well, you need to wake up from your Helix Sleep mattress because Intel wants you to be paying attention to their 18A node because they published a YouTube video showing that they have ARM SOCs that are actually running off of their foundry based productions. This is something that they uploaded to the YouTube site and then they pulled it because apparently it wasn't supposed to go live. However, Tech Power Up got some screenshots from it just showing that Intel is working on potentially having things outside of x86 being produced on their foundry, which is kind of something that's really important for them to stay relevant. However, as has been discussed, whether or not they have major customers isn't quite clear. There's some like 
rumblings that maybe Apple or Nvidia might want to use Intel's 14A. That has kind of come and gone as a rumor. It's apparently picking up a little bit more right now. I wouldn't necessarily put a ton of stock into that, but it, it, Intel's really trying here, especially if you've got an ARC graphics card that's integrated because they just released a new driver update that allows you to get more shared memory on that integrated GPU. So they have shared GPU memory override, which allows you to utilize more of the memory that is currently on your system and allocate it to things like your iGPU. For video games, this isn't super relevant. You're likely already utilizing as much VRAM as the iGPU can even keep up with you probably don't need this more so this is likely being aimed at things like large language models and anything that can benefit from having that massive pool of ram this is something that amd has done recently with their strix halo to make it so that with the 128 gigabyte ram versions of those they can support up to uh models that i think require 96 gigabytes and so this kind of feels like intel is staying in that same boat trying to get the shared memory working for all of that you do have to update to the latest drivers in order to get it but in case you're trying to host local LLMs on your integrated Intel GPU, you have a better way to do that. And Reese has a better way for you to buy things by spending less. That's novel concept. Yo, welcome back to UFT Deals, bringing the hottest tech deals out on the internet. Happy Monday, everyone. Hope you guys had a good weekend. And hey, here's the deals. Starting off, we have the Logitech MX Master 2S wireless mouse for only $49.99 with the included promo code, making it $50 off. But then next up, we have this Mechlands Blade 75 wireless hot swappable mechanical keyboard for also only $49.99, making it $50 off. And then lastly, we have this Thermaltake Tower 600 Mid-Tower ATX case available in their snow colorway for only $149.99, making it $40 off. We're all big fans of the thermal take tower cases here in the office. And then with that, the deals are done. You can find these and more linked in the video description down below. But until next time, I'm gonna hand you off back to Brett for the rest of your hot news. Cheers. Well, Reese, it looks like a lot of people are thinking it's a good deal to go and buy AMD because new reports are coming out on their market share. And what did you know it that the x86 processor market is just continuing to go team red quarter after quarter, month after month. It looks like people are finding that the X3D chips and the rise 9,000 and Ryzen 7,000 have been phenomenal values, especially over things like Intel's Core Ultra 200 series. And you see that AMD is now at a decade high of 32.2% of the desktop x86 CPU market compared to Intel's 67.8. So it doesn't look like that trend's gonna change anytime soon with what we know is currently coming out or is kind of supposed to be on the docket in the near future, but one can hope that it might change. And Intel has a slightly changed strategy when it comes to their GPUs, just like we talked about their shared GPU memory for integrated GPUs, Maxon decided to take their Intel Arc B60s and turn them into massive LLM powerhouses and make it so that there's a dual version of it with 48 gigabytes of RAM. We kind of already saw this at Computex, but now it appears that this is going for sale for about $1,200. So the way this works is it has two different GPUs, has two B60s, which each have 24 gigabytes of VRAM on either one of those. And then you can then utilize two GPUs on one slot as long as your motherboard supports PCI Express bifurcation, but you do get access to a total of a 48 gigabyte pool. I don't think it'll combine it. I mean, you might be able to do it in certain uh, local LLM model softwares. It's not super easy to do that based on everything that I've been playing around with, with my RTX Pro 6000 and my uh, RTX 5090. Combining VRAM is not something that's kind of the way to do it. You can like split loads between GPU cores, but like the models have to typically, not always, all be loaded on the same memory pool. And I'm not sure if the drivers would support it so that you get 48 gigs of access on each GPU. I'm, I'm not sure that it would work that way. But while Intel dropping one of those, AMD's came out as well. Their 32 gig version of the RX 9070 XT finally hitting the market, not just in pre-builds, but on the DIY market. Some people being able to go out and purchase the AI Pro R 9700, which is essentially just a 9070 XT with double the amount of VRAM. So it turns out that these things are costing a pretty penny. One Redditor posting that they were able to get the gigabyte blower style cooler version of it for roughly $1,200. And then you see over on eBay, 
eBay that there was also a ASRock version that was selling for roughly $1,400. It was actually $50 cheaper than that when I purchased mine. It's supposed to be here on Tuesday. We're gonna be having a review coming out on this sometime soon, so be sure to get subscribed and stay tuned for that. We're trying to get more of that content out here at UFD Tech and playing around with the AI Pro R9700 is happening, but it's not just on eBay. Newegg also listing the ASRock version of it. It's about $20 less than what I paid. However, I was able to order it, I think over a week ago. It's just taken a little while to ship it. But if you wanted to get it for that price, you're not going to be able to because they are currently sold out at the current moment. However, you can get them from Spicy Bomb, or actually you could when I started Hot News, but you can't anymore. It's sold out at $1,500. You're spending basically double the amount of money to get double the amount of VRAM. I've seen commentary on this that this feels like a scam. It can't cost that much in order to get another 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM, especially when it's one third the speed of what you get on an RTX 5090. However, you're looking at a $1,300, $1,400 card compared to NVIDIA's starting at $2,000 card, but in reality, closer to $2,700, $2,800. So this is about half the price of what NVIDIA gives you. You get one third the memory bandwidth, but the same amount of total memory. So if you need that for various different machine learning things that you're doing, this is probably gonna be your best AMD solution for the consumer market that's out there right now. We'll be testing it in gaming once I get my hands on it. Obviously, it's probably not gonna show off too much in various different aspects. Maybe in some 4K workloads, we'll be able to push it and get it to use more than 16 gigabytes and show how it's slightly faster than a 9070 XT. But um, I'm excited to just kind of play around with the AI Pro R9700. Let me know what you think of it. Are you excited to see that? Speaking of cards that we got, actually, let me go grab it. I'll be right back. This bad boy just arrived, but now as I, it's currently sealed and it doesn't feel like there's a graphics card in here and I don't know, it kind of sounds like there's loose. I'm gonna live unbox this because I'm concerned that this might not actually have a graphics card in here. It feels incredibly light for a GPU, especially one that's supposed to be made of various metals, but, oh, nope, it, there's a card in here. There's also weeb stickers, as you would expect from Yustin. That's happening. No, this is just a lighter GPU than I was expecting. Well, take back all my concern. The Yesting Gravistar card has arrived. We're gonna be putting this in a PC build at some point in the near future. I kinda like it. Looks pretty good. It's got all the plastic on it, so it's a little shiny and doesn't have the whole full EVGA effect. But uh, stay tuned for UFD tech content. We'll be putting that in a build at some point in the near future. And I'm staying tuned for what you guys had to say on the last episode of Hot News. So let's see what you said in the comments. We got, there is nothing here saying, man, for years I've been an AMD user. I finally pulled the trigger and bought an Intel 12th gen CPU. At the time it had just been released. Like a year later, they discontinued it. Womp womp in another year or two, I'll build another one and it'll be in AMD. I really don't find it a problem that they discontinued it after you bought it, right? Right? Like the 5700X3D just got discontinued, but that doesn't make it any less of a killer CPU. The 12th gen CPUs are decidedly pretty good. You get a high core count set up. I mean, they're they're fairly fast. They're not as good as a 9800X3D, but especially right now, if you try to go pick up something like a 12.7, 12900K, you're getting a much better value in uh, some of the price points that you can get on those deals, especially with the more affordable motherboards that Intel can have. I don't find it a problem that they discontinued it after you bought it. There's obviously the problem that it only supported three generations, two generations on a single socket, so your upgrade pad isn't that great, but I, I wouldn't be worried about the 12th gen being discontinued because like they, they all kind of just cycle out like that. You got a good CPU, enjoy. It. And then we got DX Mage saying, now that you're back in South Africa, where is the Wootware? Number one, not back in South Africa yet, still working on it, it's a whole process. Moving internationally, not quick, not simple, especially if you're doing it, number one, uh, with a larger family such as mine, if you're doing it with uh, complex medical needs such as what I have in my family and just trying to make sure that everything is like as set as it can possibly be before we move. It takes some time. So uh, we will be returning soon, but uh, where's the Wootware? I'm as excited as always to work with them. I've already picked up a couple of their monitors, the Woot Vision monitors for uh, the South African office. Obviously, when you see Reese do the deals, you can see him and Catlin, they're uh, currently rocking it in the South African office. They're using Woot Vision monitors because that's what I picked up and uh, we're gonna have a good time with Wootware moving forward. Believe you me, 
I'm gonna be buying more stuff from them. I absolutely love them. The the team over there is near and dear to me and they're gonna get more of my money. And then we got Eliminator, quadruple five, saying, please learn how to pronounce the word breakfast. No, 